right, hello OAS family. It is time for another book review. And today we are going to be reviewing 108 Flowers Book Two by Ning Ye. So before we get into the book, let's talk about the general statistics of the book. The book is a very popular size. It is eight and it is a eight, eight and a quarter inches wide by 11 and three quarter inches high. The book has approximately 144 pages and the text and the instruction is uh, in English. So let's get in. Uh, before, we, before we go on, it's good to note that there are uh, four books total in this series and all together they have uh, a total of 108 flowers. So it's good to know that, you're, uh, that you don't buy this book expecting to get 108 flowers covered in this book. As you can see that there is sequential instruction in this book. So, um, so anyway, the, the 108 flowers are spread between four books. So we can see the introduction here. We talk about uh, the other three books in the series and list the subjects that are available in those three books. Then we have a table of contents. We get into a little bit of a biography and some basics on flower painting. So this is a nice technique section here, talking about uh, how to load water, loading single colors, multiple colors, how to position the brush, where to begin the stroke. Um, lots of uh, very good technical stuff here. Um, and also introducing you to some of the terminology that you will see Ning Ye use in his books and videos. So he talks about building a wall and lowering the boom and fish looking for the same food, chicken foot. These are all things that um, uh, those of us who have followed my father throughout his teaching career have begun to appreciate as Ning Ye-isms. And uh, it's good uh, if you've never uh, been around him before to have a definition of what he means when he says all of those because he, he does use those phrases quite often in the videos for brevity's sake. So we get into the first subject here and this is corn. All right, so we have corn here. This is the first subject. And this is a really lovely composition here. You can see how um, dark the corn is. That's very cool and interesting from a painting and color composition standpoint. So we got some pages walking you through that composition. Then we get into cotton rows. And you can see some of these are fairly obscure flowers. I think that was kind of his intention behind this series was that there were these flowers that he had noticed over the years and um, he uh, made note of them, but they weren't flowers that were really well known. And so he wanted a series where he could cover all of these. This is cyclamen. And daffodil. And Dahlia. And you can see here uh, in before each of his subjects, as is his uh, uh, is usually the case uh, with Ning Ye, is he will give you a little bit of background, uh, cultural background on the flower and uh, tell you the Chinese name and give you the meaning of the individual characters in the Chinese name. Very striking colors on this flower. And then Datura.
Daylily. Dendrobium Orchid. Dogwood. Dragon Head. Dragon Pearl. Dutch Iris. Eggplants. Forget me not. Fox Club. Fisia and Fuchsia. I think this is one of the first subjects I ever studied with my father. I can remember the first time I was ever in class with him. I think we were doing Fuchsia, and I remember it was like these ladies in dancing skirts was the metaphor that he used for this flower. And geranium. And ginger lily. And you can see, I sort of feel like the compositions that are featured in this series are kind of like the sweet spot for instructional compositions. They are complex enough to be interesting, but simple enough to be accessible. So I think that you will find that about all of the compositions that are featured in this series. They all have this sort of similar level it's just sort of like this goldilocks level where you know it's not so simple that you think oh well that was that was just not not enough there but at the same time it's not so complex that you look at it and you immediately get overwhelmed and you're like oh i don't know if i can start this the gourd Great. Heavenly Bamboo. Hibiscus. And 
this is another hibiscus that is multi-layered. And holly. And I believe we are gonna close with holly. And here's some more information about the artist. There's some old pictures of our family there. It's my sister and I. I think that was his PhD ceremony. And throughout the years, you can see that he's been, has got quite a lot of accolades and of course there was a series where his artwork was featured by the Weyerhaeuser paper company so it appeared in a lot of national publications during that time Wall Street Journal Time magazine fortune people so that is it that is 108 Flowers, Book 2 by Ning Ye. It is available at our website at orientalartsupply.com. If you like this book review and want to see more content like this, please like this video and subscribe and hit that bell notification on our YouTube channel. And we thank you for watching and listening, and we wish you happy painting. Mm -hmm.